most people haven't heard of it. You know, it's still a very obscure sport. Well, it would be like playing tennis without a net or football with no pigskin. One team in Northeast Wisconsin is finding out you're going to get some weird looks from people when you play hockey with melted ice. White tea, buddy. Yeah, they think I'm crazy. <laughs> Go. And I say, well, come and try it out and maybe you'll think different. <laughs> Might as well trade in your skates for flippers as underwater hockey is making a splash in Sturgeon Bay. It is an organized sport, but just a small one. Kendall Banks spent two and a half decades on the national underwater hockey team. He helped introduce the sport to Sturgeon Bay about three years ago when he and his family moved there from California. Now first, a primer. Just like hockey, there's a puck, but this one's made of lead, weighs about three pounds, so it stays on the bottom of the pool. Two teams of six players hit the puck with short sticks, trying to get it in metal goals on opposite sides of the pool. It's more about getting down, making something happen, connecting with a teammate, then getting up, getting a breath while they're doing something and get back down. Some players say the game feels more like soccer than hockey. Others say it's more like basketball, but the real tricky element, you have to hold your breath. Once you get used to just breathing when you when you need to and going down, it's it's more similar than different to other sports. In basketball, you, there's lots of shouting. You know, if you're open or a break or whatever it is, it's just silent on the water, and so you have to anticipate what you know what, what you're meant to do. So, if you really needed a goal in underwater hockey, what would you guys do? You don't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> the team in Sturgeon Bay plays weekly for fun at the YMCA. They also compete. If you get it back to him, then I'll be wide. So either back to him or out to me. Winning several regional tournaments, even one at the national level this year, albeit not in that tournament's highest division. So that's been really fun in the tournaments to see it build and become a, a truly um, our team playing in the water together. The group in Sturgeon Bay says they're always looking to get more players in the pool, learn the rules, and have some fun. The team keeps growing, winning, and scoring goals, even if the underwater celebrations aren't too deep. Well, there's not a lot of air left at that point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, if you want to try out underwater hockey, the team practices Friday evenings at the Sturgeon Bay YMCA. We have a link to their website with more information on our website, fox11online.com.